हेलो फ्रेंड सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम मिचकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल उबुंतू ट्वेंटी टू ऑन योर मैकबुक एयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू डाउनलोड दिस उबुंतू इमेज उबुंतू ट्वेंटी टू यू कैन सी एल टी एस जैमी जेली फिश डेली ब्यूल्ड एंड यू हैव टू डाउनलोड मेक श्योर यू हैव टू डाउनलोड दिस ए आर एम फाइल ओके द लास्ट वन यू कैन सी दिस वन so you have to download this iso file from here go to cdimage.ubuntu.com and from here you can download this image okay now the second thing you need is utm file you need to download mac go to mac.getutm.app and from here click on download and you will download it and install utm application utm is virtual machine okay it is a kind of virtual box it is a kind of virtual machine okay virtualization software just download it Once you downloaded this both file, I have already downloaded both of this file. Now I am going to show you. After this, what you have to do. So once you finish with downloading both of this, you need to do some things like you need to do the installation. So I am going to open the UTM application. Okay. So from here you can get the UTM application. Let's go here, Launchpad, and look for the UTM application here. Okay, so you can see here UTM application. Open it. Okay. Open. Now here I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux. I have already installed Kali Linux inside this machine. and if you don't know how to install kali linux you can watch my video i will give you the description uh, i will give you the link in the description or i button okay now here i need to install ubuntu so i will create uh, i will click on create a new virtual machine then create, click on virtualize option then select linux from the here okay and you can see boot iso image so i have to Select. I have to go to click on the browse and then select the Ubuntu iOS image. So let me go to the file where I have downloaded Ubuntu. So you can see this is Xiaomi desktop ARM version for Ubuntu. Select it. Click on continue. Then it's time for RAM. So already 4 GB RAM more than enough. And in the CPU course, give four. Enable hardware GPU. Okay. Uh, Open GL acceleration for graphics. 64 GB you don't need a space 64 GB I think 40 GB is more than enough so give it 40 GB space click on continue click on continue now here you can see you don't have to make any changes here just click on save okay now once you save it you can see some option here what are those option Uh, in the right hand side top you can see there is a setting option go here and here go to the you can see system option here and in system you can see there are so many option uh, i am looking for retina option okay so let go to the here system display go to the display and click on retina mode because i want little better resolution for my ubuntu linux So select this option, click on Save, and then click on this Play button to start the installation. So installation has been started. Now you can maximize the screen. Okay. So first option, try or install Ubuntu. Press Enter here. and just have some patience and wait for the installation it's asking allow would like to access microphone okay okay so you can see this is my ubuntu you can see ubuntu machine is here on your Kali Linux machine on your uh, MacBook Air. Okay, so you can see this is our Ubuntu. Now, if you want to install, you can see in the right hand side, 
bottom you can see install ubuntu you can see this is live ubuntu okay now you click here on install ubuntu and you will get the option to install ubuntu see here you will get the option click on continue okay click on continue normal installation and just select normal installation and nothing else okay click on continue because we don't want to update this ubuntu machine during installation click on first option install now continue yes click on continue give your name suppose i'm giving my name satish tiwari here so the login and you can give your computer name which is by default this one i am giving some name inside the computer you can see there's so much big name here i am giving a small name so let me give that name suppose ubuntu 22 okay username such as password anything you can give one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay then click on continue and installation begin installation is progress you just have to give some time and wait for the all the package to be installed it will just take some few, few minutes okay so just wait and watch installation done and it's asking for a restart so click on restart now so this is our ubuntu machine okay. now we need to run this machine 
how to run this machine first of all you can go here and check what's going on I'm little increasing the display so that display is clear here you can see it's a stop option a stop so I'm going to stop and then play it again so you can see it's asking so I'm just selecting the second option boot from next volume and see what's happening And the Linux machine is here. You can just type the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Enter. And you can see I am logging to my Ubuntu Linux machine. Skip this option. Okay. Skip. Okay. Next. Okay. And done. Now your Ubuntu machine is here. You can change the display setting. Right click and go to the display setting. You can set the pixel here okay so if you want little like different pixel you can set your pixel from this you can see like if you want to make it little bigger so you can see this is our Ubuntu machine and this Ubuntu machine is running inside my MacBook Air okay now if you want to shut down you just click here and click on power button and then click on power off click here on the power up button and done okay in this one we have installed successfully installed ubuntu linux inside our macbook air so you can install ubuntu linux very easily inside your macbook now if you want to close it you can close it thank you thank you for watching if you still have any doubts you can ask me through the comment section anything regarding to macbook air i have already uploaded a video on how to install kali linux in macbook and how to install like utm software inside this macbook air so if you are using macbook this tutorial is very helpful for you just watch it don't skip anything and if you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section thank you thank you for watching